I grew up in a household. Uh, uh, and I had two brothers and two sisters. Everyone played piano. You know, I mean, you were required to study piano. Uh, but my myself and my oldest brother became uh, professional musicians, Bill. And uh, it was largely through him that I really got into the music. He had a huge uh, record collection, 78s. You know, Dexter Gordon, Fats Navarro, Dizzy, of course, and Ed Bird, and then uh, Wardell Gray, and people like that. So. Uh, I remember hearing that music, and I would go and seek those records. I must have been like 10 years old. And I would go seek those records out and find them because I really loved that music. And then Philly had a really great 24-hour uh, jazz station. I mean, really great, where you could hear Sun Ra and Dizzy's Big Band and people like that. So uh, I got a good education in terms of my listening, listening chops. And then my brother, uh, uh, um, when I was about 15, he got me on a, uh, in the band that he was in, you know. So again, I was playing with older people. It was a great experience. I think it's important to play. You can't just study, you know. You have to play in front of people. You have to play with people who are better than you, you know, so that that's how you learn. You play with people who are better than you. But it's important to play. It's important to listen, you know. And it's just important to, 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 uh, to be out there. You go out, you hang out, you go out and hear, you, you go out to hear people. You know, you can't sit in your room and practice 24 hours a day. You gotta be, you gotta, you, know, it's, you gotta be in it. It's life, you gotta be in it, you know. So you gotta go out and hear music, talk to musicians. Most of them are really nice people, <laughs> you know. You know, so, so you can talk to them, they're approachable. Do that, you know. And of course, the standard stuff, practice, <laughs> you know. <laughs> 